unwavering in his intention. For him, liberation cannot be denied. The only reason most of the humanity goes about their life, blundering through their life, not knowing which way to go, is because they keep shifting the direction of their life too often. They may not actually change the direction of their life, but in their mind and emotion, it keeps shifting and shifting and shifting and shifting. The very nature of the existence is such – today it is also a scientific fact, but this is the experience of every yogi that in this existence there is energy and this consciousness. There is no such thing as physical matter. Physical matter, as you know it today, is just concentrated patterns of energy. Today, this is established science. But more than forty thousand years ago, when Shiva spoke, he spoke clearly. His involvement was in absolute consciousness or in the energy, never in the physical matter because he did not see it as real. And he spoke thus very clearly without any ambiguity about it. So these are the only two things one needs to deal with. Oh, why didn't you tell us? <laughs> we wouldn't have done the Surya Namaskar today morning. <laughs> You are not doing the Surya Namaskar to build muscle. If you have to know the energy, right now it's concentrated in the form of this body. Only if you use it in a certain way, it'll crackle. Otherwise it'll sit like a lump of earth. If this has to sit here and crackle, then it has to be kept in a certain way. So whatever the physical sadhana that you're doing is not to build muscle, not to <laughs> that when you go home you can dominate the people at home. <laughs> I'm telling the ladies, <laughs> you could be stronger than them. Ninety days of sadhana, you could be actually stronger than <laughs> If your energies can crackle and your mind is focused, then this will just build in that direction. Because the mind is shifting and shifting and shifting focus, it does not know which way to build. The very life within you is confused, it doesn't know which way to go. I would say, more than ninety-five, actually I think it's ninety-nine but so that I'm not wrong. <laughs> At least ninety-five percent of the human energy is waste… is simply wasted because 
Most human beings cannot hold anything in their focus for any substantial amount of time. Otherwise, each of them would be opening up a new window, a new door to something else. Seven billion people, if they had all had their minds and consciousness focused, everything, just everything have to yield. Nothing would be unexplored, just everything. If one keeps his mind, his energies and his consciousness organized in one direction for a certain period of time, he not only realizes the nature of this life, the past eighty-four creations that have happened, they are also here. Everything could be explored by human consciousness.